Hey guys, this is Callum from English Shooting and welcome back to the channel. We've got a little bit of news today from Northern Ireland concerning component parts and magazines. If you don't already know, Northern Ireland has slightly different firearms laws to the rest of the UK, being England, Scotland and Wales. The biggest that you may be aware of is that they can have handguns out in Northern Ireland. We've previously been over there to, to shoot them over at Nitsa and also self-defense is a valid justification for having a firearm certificate and for having a firearm out there again completely different to the rest of the uk but a sort of smaller more unknown difference is magazines out in northern ireland magazines are considered as component parts in the rest of the uk a licensable or restricted component part is usually something that's pressure bearing so something like a barrel or a bolt and if you want a spare one or an additional one to what's already in the gun then you need to apply for a variation have a a spare slot and technically that that component should also be serial numbered so that it's traceable now people do this for a number of reasons with target shooting you may have spare barrels so that you can you know, swap them out with some guns like the Seiko quad you have many different calibers for the same rifle so on and so forth so each part each pressure bearing part would be uh, licensed and in Northern Ireland this extends to magazines now by no means am I an expert in the firearms laws in Northern Ireland but as far as I understand with magazines all you had to do is have the gun on your firearm certificate you didn't necessarily need a variation or a slot for each magazine but the magazines were were restricted but as long as they matched up to a gun that you had on your fi your firearm certificate you were free to be able to buy as as many as you want uh, and you didn't have to apply for any variations or slots or or notify the police but this is where this little bit of news comes in the police service of northern ireland have reaffirmed what they mean and what they want and now you are required to apply for every spare component part pressure bearing component part and magazine which is completely different to how i understood it and what i believe was the status quo out there now when i say a variation for people that don't know this is a formal application to vary your firearm certificate there is a charge for it and it can take a uh, in some cases it can take months for the variation to be complete now from the information that i can find online i don't know necessarily if it is a full variation or if there's a sort of an, another application or online service to be able to notify them but at the moment you can only deduce that it is a full variation for every magazine they are also requiring you to tell them what capacity magazine you want and why you want that magazine which seems absolutely bonkers a magazine you can order from anywhere in the world through the post service and it's incredibly unlikely it's ever going to be picked up not that i'm suggesting or advocating people breaking the law but this again is one of those laws that doesn't actually prevent the bad guys from committing crimes the bad guys from getting hold of magazines it just provides another banner for the police to be able to arrest them under if they are found in possession but any criminal worth their salt if they're found with a magazine they're most likely going to be found with the firearm as well and then you can just do them under the normal firearm legislation so it seems a bit bonkers in a way to license the magazine because at the end of the day you still need the gun to make the magazine dangerous in in any way shape or form now again whilst this seems to be new news it's not necessarily new legislation so for component parts certainly here in the uk and in northern ireland nothing has really changed what they are sort of reminding people of is that you can't just go and buy bolts you can't just go and buy barrels there is a formal variation process for these spare components now some people seem to be interpreting that that if you go to the gun shop and you have modifications if you have a, a barrel swapped over by a gunsmith a licensed gunsmith then you're going to have to apply for a variation and 
reading through, I don't think that is the case. At the moment, certainly here in England, whilst you would be required to have an additional slot on your license for a spare barrel, i.e. you are then in possession of two barrels, if you go to a gun shop and have repair work done, so you know, you've blown the barrel out, you've broken the bolt, some, you know, something like that, and they swap it out and repair, you then don't need to notify anybody, you then don't need to do any sort of variation. The gun shop is licensed to be able to take that controlled part and replace it with another. At the end of the day, you walk out of that shop with as many barrels or as many bolts as you walked into. So the police don't need to know about these repairs and modifications. So I don't think it's now the case in Northern Ireland that you're gonna have to request a variation just for a barrel repair or a bolt repair but certainly with the magazines they're making it abundantly clear you need to apply for every new magazine that you go and buy and it sort of leaves me scratching my head which is most certainly competitive shooters that I know they are going to have dozens and dozens and dozens of magazines stashed away for pretty much every gun. It's the nature of the beast when you go to competitions. There's many competitive shooters that use the 1522, and they will have 20 or 30 different magazines in varying conditions, from brand new, sealed, ready to go, to honed in, tested competition, to their scrap pile that they may pick bits off. So all of these thousands, tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of magazines that are already floating about, they're not necessarily licensed, they're not serial numbered, no one knows about them, so bringing in further restrictions and having to have further magazines applied for, what difference is that going to make? And going forward, because magazines aren't serial numbered, how are they ever going to tell which magazines you've bought, which ones you've sold, which ones you had prior to all of this? It, it makes absolutely no sense. And what a lot of people are saying online is that Northern Ireland were trying to raise the fees of applications, they were unsuccessful, and this is just sort of a back way to bring in more income because for a standard variation out there, it's 30 pound. Imagine every single time you went out and bought a magazine, you had to spend an additional 30 pound that's going to add up pretty quickly. So it's generating more revenue. Unfortunately, it's going to create more work, more, more paperwork and admin for these departments, which means stuff like you know, variations for actual guns, initial applications, renewals are all going to be slowed down. There's going to be a backlog. So it just seems like a, an absolute mess, if I'm going to be completely honest. I really don't think restricting magazines even further well, restricting magazines in the first place I just think is completely asinine I think then further restricting them so you have to apply for each one is just absolute madness and again criminals are not going to care about this if they've already got an illegal firearm they are not going to think twice about mail ordering one to their door from any of the online shops that we all know and love. So there we go, really just a brief update on this bit of legislation. I really do feel sorry for anyone out in Northern Ireland because it just seems like even more hoops would I sacrifice, would I go through those magazine hoops to be able to own a handgun? maybe, uh, but it seems like they just seem to be going, they might have handguns, but everything else just seems to be going downhill with them, uh, for them with the legislation. But there we go. Thank you very much for watching this video. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And of course, make sure you're subscribed for any future videos. As always, guys, I hope to see you soon.